Hello children. Welcome to our radio learning program for primary five science. As we all know, this will be a continuation of our radio program produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda in partnership with Inspire Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. My name is Teacher Gerald. This program is organized so that we can make sure that our children keep on learning. Parents and guardians, we appreciate you for your meaningful support to the children in assuring that the children are kept safe at home as we safeguard them from the spreading of coronavirus disease. At the same time, your support offered to the radio learning since we started. Children, you will have to get ready with your pens and notebooks for taking notes, doing exercises, and homework. After that, sit next to the radio, tune it to be loud enough, and be ready to listen to it keenly, as well as participating in radio lesson activities. Good. We welcome everyone in this lesson and be ready to learn with us. And to the parents, I would like you to be part of the children's learning by moving closer, staying with them, and even helping them in participating in the activities. Your support is needed. Wonderful. Now, can you remember our chant of the last lesson? Now we are going to use it as a warm-up because we had chanted last time. I'm going to chant once. Then you will join me as we chant for the third time. Do you understand? Great. The chant goes, I eat, I eat. I eat chicken. I eat some eggs. Chicken and rice and chapati. I feel better. Good. Children, join me. Let's go. I eat, I eat. I eat chicken. I eat some eggs, chicken and rice, and chapati. I feel better. Great. Did you like the warm-up? Very good. Now, welcome to the lesson. Children, can you remember and write down what we learned about in our last lesson. Perfect. In our last lesson, we learned about keeping chickens. Is that right? Yes, we learned about keeping chickens. Now, what did we learn about keeping chickens? Wonderful. We learned about the chicken breeds and the chicken house or coo. Are we together, children? Good. That is what we learned about. We learned about the different breeds, which is the layers, and we saw their types. We also learned about the broilers. We also saw their types. We also talked about the dual purpose, and we saw how they are kept. Now, today, I want to tell you a story. Listen keenly to my story. Good. Once upon a time, in the village of Chimironko, there lived a young man called Chingonko. He kept a big cock called Ijitondo. The cock was a good friend to Ingoko because it used to wake him early in the morning. One day, Ijitondo went out in the field to feed. He walked on until he came to a beautiful pond of water. 
It wanted to drink some water. There he found a beautiful golden hen. Ijitondo asked her to go with him back to Ingoko's house. The beautiful hen was known as Ingavire. The beautiful hen was known as Ingavire. She told Ijitondo that she wanted a beautiful nest to lay eggs in. When they got back to Ingoko, he was so happy. A few days later, Ingavire started laying eggs in a beautiful nest that Ingoko had made for her. She laid one big brown egg each day. Ingoko cooked some of the eggs for breakfast and sold some to his neighbors. The eggs were very tasty, yummy. After a few weeks, Ingabire sat on ten eggs and refused to go out. Ingabire told Ingoko and Ijitondo not to worry because she was brooding the eggs for chicks to form. After three weeks, nine tiny yellow-colored chicks came out. Only one egg had failed to hatch. Are you following the story? Perfect. Welcome back. A few years later, Ingoko's home had so many chicken that people called him the Great Ingoko. He was a very rich man. He married a hardworking wife to help him take care of his many chickens. Till now, people of Chimirongo still talk about how chicken keeping made Ingoko a rich man. Have you enjoyed the story? Perfect! Come along and play with us. Good. Now let us continue. Production in chickens involves laying eggs, followed by incubation or brooding. After the incubation period is over, chicken or chicks hatch from the eggs. Chicks hatch from the eggs. Remember the story. The story was from a village of Chimirong. Then we had a man who was called Ingoko. Ingoko had a wonderful cock called Ijitondo. Ijitondo went to the pond and brought Ingabire, the hen. The hen laid several eggs, and now that village is full of riches because of Ingabire and Ijitondo. Good. There are two important things here. Laying eggs. Write that one down. Laying eggs. Hens lay eggs. Number two, incubation. Incubation of eggs means keeping eggs under conditions that allow them to hatch into chicks. Incubation is also known as brooding. I'm going to spell the two. Incubation. I-N-C-U-B-A-T-I-O-N. Incubation. It is also known as brooding. B R Double O D I N G Brooding. There are two methods of incubating eggs. You understand? Good. There are two methods of incubating eggs. These are 
artificial incubation and natural incubation. Artificial incubation and natural incubation. Do you understand? Great. Artificial incubation or brooding, in this type of brooding, the eggs are put in a special machine called an incubator for them to hatch. Our scientists have made machines whereby when we keep eggs and give them the right conditions, they will stay there for a given period of time, then they hatch into chicks. Those ones are called artificial incubators. We also have natural incubators. Natural incubators is when a broody hen sits on eggs for 21 days for them to hatch. Good. Now, let us see proper feeding of chicken. How do we make sure that they are fed properly? Chickens can be fed on a variety of feeds. Example of common chicken feeds include grains like maize and millet, crushed cereals, small insects like ants, and soft vegetables. Do you understand? Examples of common chicken feeds include grains like maize and millet, crushed cereals, small insects, and soft vegetables. Apart from feeds that can be obtained locally, chicken can be fed on commercial feeds. Commercial feeds. Commercial feeds are those that we buy from the market, from the shops. They are known as concentrates. The concentrates are the commercial feeds that we buy from the shops. They help also in feeding the birds. Are we together, my friends? Very, very good. Happy to know that. Now, lastly, children, we have to remember to do this. For our chicken to be kept safely, to have a maximum production, such that we can also become rich, like Ingoko. These are some of the things that we need to do. Do you understand? Good. Are you ready to hear? Wow. Number one. Ensure that all the feeds given to chickens contain protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and essential minerals. Eh. You see, the feeds that we give to chicken must have carbohydrates. You know that carbohydrates are energy-giving foods, such that your animals, such that your chickens can be moving strong, having the energy to go here, to run. Then we must also have proteins. You know, proteins are bodybuilding foods, just like human beings. Even the chickens, they need proteins such that they can grow big, they can grow fat, they can grow strong. We also need to have vitamins, vitamins to protect them against diseases. And again, we also need to have essential minerals, minerals for strong bone formation, such that our birds, our chickens, are not growing weak. They must have strong bone formation. So you see, when we are giving them feeds, we must make sure that their food, the feeds that we give to them, 
have carbohydrates, number one. Number two, the food contains proteins for chicken. The food that we give or the feeds that we give to our chickens should include vitamins and should also include minerals. A complete meal for the birds is like a complete meal for a human being. Good. Number two, give chicken clean drinking water. My friends, some of us, we keep chicken, but we don't know where they get water from. Chickens also feel thirsty like human beings. So when we feel thirsty, we take water. Our cows, we take them to water. What of the chickens? Give them clean, safe water so that they can quench their thirst. That one make them live a better life. Good. The third thing that we need to do for us to grow chicken very, very well. The third thing, which is the last one. Feeding troughs and watering containers should be kept clean at all times. Feeding troughs. Don't be somebody... We should not be people who are just throwing feeds to the birds, to the chickens, everywhere, on the ground. Sometimes when we, we throw it like that, that is where the chickens will eat that food together with germs. Because on the grass, on the ground, we walk. We came from outside. We went to the market. We went far away. And... We, we don't know exactly what we stepped on. Under the foot of our shoes, we find that we have come back with some jams. The jams is left on the ground, on the grass, and then we throw food to the animals, to the chickens. Now, when they eat, they eat together with the jams. We have introduced jams. That is the reason why we need to have feeding troughs. We need to make some good places which are kept clean and safe, where we throw food for them. The troughs are the ones where we put food in them to remain clean. Also, watering cans. When we are watering the birds, the chickens, we must make sure that it is done in a clean trough. Make sure that you do that one every day. The feeding and watering troughs must be kept clean and safe every day. Do you understand that? Yes. Wonderful. Today, we have talked about how Ngoko became a rich man from keeping chickens. I hope you will try to do that when you also grow up. I hope we will be together in the next radio lesson. My friends, until then, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher.